Hi guys, my name is Trish and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, this is a wellness channel, a betterment channel, a give myself grace channel, a open diary, if you will, for me to just see how far I've come and to document my journey for myself. And I wanted to share some knickknacks that I found. As of recently, I decided to go to Crate and Barrel so I can do some shopping. Not big shopping. The bulk of my home is primarily done with the exception of little knickknacks that I need. I ended up getting some stuff from my kitchen that I wanted to share with you guys. They were surprisingly all on sale. Everything that I got was on sale. And I need to organize my kitchen, so I'm not too sure why I did buy additional stuff from my kitchen. But once again, grace, grace, grace. So... I wanted to share some things. This right here is the Everyday Porcelain Mug. So first things first, I love a mug. I love, love, love drinking my coffee. First thing in the morning, I go drink coffee, make a matcha, make tea. That is actually my me time, my unwind time. And what better way to do it in the cute little mug? This is a porcelain mug that I ended up getting on sale for a dollar 97 a dollar 97 can you believe this you could get a set of four you could get a set of six however large your family is i collect mugs so i have like maybe one of many i don't really have like a set i should get a set well i do probably for one of my like plate sets i do have a set of mugs but I just thought this was so cute. I thought that I definitely would be able to enjoy this. It definitely matches my aesthetic as far as being neutral. And yeah, I just, I can't believe it was $1.97. Can you get this cheaper elsewhere? Probably not. Really, $1.97 without tax? Count your girl in. Next is this beautiful stainless steel mug. Oh my goodness. Now I asked the uh, cashier if this would keep my coffee or tea warm. She said no, it actually warms the cup, but I thought this was so cute. I definitely would enjoy drinking my coffee in here or even like making funny faces in my reflection with this. It is pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can see how deep it is. It goes pretty much to the very bottom. I have not used this yet. This price was $19.95. I did not know I spent that much money on a mug, but it's okay. <laughs> I already bought it. I'm not bringing this back. And I'm actually really excited to use it surprisingly. So yeah. at my receipt, I do think that they upcharged me a bit. I did get this martini glass. When I got it, it was supposed to be $4 and change, but they ended up charging me $7. I wish that I caught that while I was there, but the woman gave me a discount. I'm not gonna say her name, but thank you for the discount girl. And I did end up spending $7. I bought four of these because I thought, oh my goodness, this would be so cute. I'm not a drinker, right? If I recall correctly, this is like a smaller martini glass, um, as you can tell. The larger ones have a bigger, I guess, everything is just larger on the bigger martini glasses. Anyways, I'm not really a drinker, but I thought this would be so cute for my guests. So I might have a martini party at my home with my girlfriends. Do you like, yeah, no, I think I should. A martini party. These glasses cost $8. They were $7.95 each or $7.68 each, excuse me. And they were supposed to be $4. If you do happen to go buy these, please double check the price. I didn't do that. I was just so caught up in talking to them and I'm like, oh, it's on sale, whatever. Didn't do that, you should. But this is so cute. I don't have sealed uh, countertops. Actually, my countertops stain with everything. Like I put a red sauce on there. I'm sitting there scrubbing it with like a Mr. Clean scrubber. I need a coaster for everything. I need a serving plate. I need something to protect my countertops. I should probably get them sealed at this rate because all of the anti-staining methods that I've been doing, it would probably just be more beneficial for me to get them sealed, but I don't know. I haven't even looked into that. This is like a starter home for me, so I don't want to pour too much money into it when hopefully my husband won't move me out of here. Hopefully this will be an investment property. Now, hopefully, let's speak this. This is going to be an investment property in my house and my husband is going to move me out of it. So mm -hmm. I'm not sealing the countertops. I'm just waiting for Prince Charming. Anyways, I have to have a coaster. 
everyone needs a coaster. I remember one of my girlfriends, she came over and she was like, hey Trish, um, are you worried that I'm gonna spill some wine on your countertop? And I said, absolutely. Because I saw her like taking a, a napkin and like wiping, we were all drinking, well, they were drinking red wine, I was the host. And I saw her like wiping it. So she was mindful and very respectful of my home, but I'm like, ugh, this is driving me nuts. Anyways, I bought more coasters. I do have some marble coasters, but I thought, hey, this would add contrast to my white countertop. Bought a pack of four coasters for $10.95. I think $10 for coasters, well worth it. They are heavy. I do like the color of them. I think that they're beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see. And like, they're, they're pretty, I don't know, they're pretty solid. They're pretty thick too. So I definitely would recommend you guys getting these coasters well worth it and last but not least i got a frother this goes back into the coffee um <laughs> my coffee drinking self and matcha drinking self so one i went on facebook not too long ago and i asked my facebook friends hey can you guys give me some frother recommendations because the handheld one breaks on me every single time every single time it never fails they break I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Should I not wash them or what? But it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I spend $12 every like two to three weeks on a handheld frother. And I don't know, I think that's a little unreasonable. So I bought this one. It comes in two parts. I ended up getting this on sale for $53. It was used for the display. Now, if you're not someone who really cares about that, I don't like, I'm gonna wash this up pretty good and then use it. But for those that do care, I understand. I think that the base of this is like $79. So the fact that I got this for 53, like, what? $53 and it's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> like what? That's so cool. So no more batteries, no more $12 every two to three weeks and I got a cool frother. I do think that I need to, um, it's a little big for just me. Once again, it's just me here. Um, <laughs> it says take this home today, but like, look how deep this is. I don't know if you guys can see how deep this is, but yeah, no, I think that this is a great investment. I guess you put it here and then maybe I need to read the instructions and then press the button. Looks pretty easy. I'm happy with this purchase. I definitely am. I think that, you know what, I needed this. So that concludes my crate and barrel haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming it. I enjoyed shopping for it. The fact that I got all of those things for $107 can't be beat. Until next time guys, toodles.